Manga spoilers, by the way. As the match between Bastard Munich and Manshine City kicks off, we see a flashback between Manshine City 20 days earlier before the match started. During this flashback, we see Chris Prince, aka the master of Manshine City, talking about a body revolution. He then adds on saying that you can't just train blindly to increase your own body strengths and potential, and that every player uses their muscles differently, which leads him to believe that everyone should have their own individual training routines. As he asks players from Blue Lock, like Rayo, what kind of player do they want to become? Shortly after, we see the question fall right onto our favorite red-haired princess, Chigiri Hyoma. As we dive back into the present match, we see Chigiri's answer saying that he doesn't want to pass the ball and that he wants to use his legs to cut through all the defenders scoring goals as a striker. As Corona warns one of the members of Bastard Munich, Ali, about his speed, we see Chigiri pass him with complete ease. We then cut to another flashback with Chris saying that Ego used Chigiri as a crosser on the right side. But Chris says that Chigiri can't possibly think of turning that little ideal of his into a reality if we just keep him on the right side as a crosser like Ego has done before. And due to this, Chris says that from now on, Chigiri will live as a left wing in order to take control of the left side. As Corona fails to take the ball from our red-haired princess with a slide tackle, we see our main character Isagi try to stop this little speedster in his tracks. And as he approaches him, Chigiri says that Isagi is the perfect guinea pig to test just how far he's come after immersing himself in his ideals. And with that, we see this newly found, never seen before evolution of Chigiri shift into high gear with his overall being at a 90 with his stats being insanely high especially in the speed and offensive department. As the face off between Chigiri and Isagi begins, we see Isagi state that he'll stop Chigiri saying that no matter how much he's increased his speed or strength, Chigiri's dominant leg is his right one and that he can only hit precise shots with his right leg. And the reason he knows this is because of how long they've been fighting together. As Isagi thinks that Chigiri's aim is to cut inside and shoot with his right leg, he tries to block him from getting there. But Chigiri does another turn on this man and goes outside. As Isagi questions Chigiri's true aim, whether to pass the ball or to shoot, we see Chigiri still advancing. While he's doing so, we then get another tiny flashback of Chris and Chigiri, with Chris saying that to connect his speed to the goal, he should try creating a golden zone, a special area for only him. As Chigiri recalls moments where characters like Baro and Zantetsu seem to have those golden zones, or ranges, Chris decides to search for data about Chigiri's body habits. After searching through the data, Chris determines that Chigiri's special zone with the highest goal probability is 19 meters from the goal and 44 degrees to the left. As we see Chris in the present match rooting for Chigiri, on the sidelines we see Chigiri cut through Mensai and break into the penalty area. Isagi tries to steal the ball, but he also then gets stumped by Chigiri once again. As he questions what exactly Chigiri is after, we see Chigiri only 4 meters away from his golden zone. But there's one man who decided to step up to the task in stopping this speeding maniac, with that man being Kunigami. But as it seems our boy Kunigami is too late, as Chigiri is nearing his zone, we see Chris Prince recall the necessary steps in order for Chigiri to use his golden zone, being one, having to find the golden zone 44 degrees left oblique of the goalpost, two, penetrate, pause, through using the mock cut-in, and three, for the shot to be a controlled one. As Chris explains that what makes this possible for Chigiri is the centering technique that his body has retained from Blue Lock, about aiming at the target and towards the corner of the goal make a pass, we see Chigiri do exactly that. And with that, we see Chigiri score the first goal in this match between Bastard Munich and Manchine City, leaving Gagamaru impressed and the viewers of Blue Lock TV amazed. A new dimensional golden style that brings everything Chigiri had together, the 44 Panther Snipe. As Chigiri tells the rest of the blue lockers on Bastard Munich that their evolution is too slow.
Hey guys, Dark Hero Josh here, and if you enjoy this video on how Chigiri Hyoma became a world class talent, then please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment down below what other moments in Blue Lock should I talk about next on the channel. But without further ado, I hope you guys have a great day and see ya.